Hello Aquarius, what's up? Welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. We're going to be doing your three months predictions and see what is going on. Starting off with the general energies. And then we move over to your outside energies and career. And last but not least, love. Let's start with what we have right here. We've got the emotional withdrawal, eight of cups. We have the universe, nice. And then we have victory and success. So yeah, this sounds like Saturn finally moving out of your zodiac sign and you having like a completion uh, of a karmic cycle in your life that ends with a huge reward and a lot of success. You getting a lot of recognition for your hard work, dedication. Maybe there was some type of an energy where you had to show discipline. Uh, maybe you had to leave a job because it wasn't fulfilling anymore or leave a relationship that wasn't fulfilling anymore. And now you are finally receiving the good dharma from it and you're seeing your weight, like well off paid, well, what am I saying? Well off paid, uh, more like the fruits of your labor. Let's just put it that way. Now we have a mental conflict. So something is still a little bit stuck on your mind. Maybe it has to do with a new path. What is wrong with all these energies wanting to flip out? Then we have the four of wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the two of cups. So some of you may be maybe recently single or you have been single for quite some time. You've been kind of like trying to re release a lot of the heavy emotions and energies from the past. And now you might be thinking like, okay, when is that right person going to come in? When is, when is it going to happen? You're a little bit confused. And it looks like there is a spiritual union here that is going to come at the end of these three months. You got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's still something that is coming in. However, I'm, I'm not sure if you are able to see it because you are in that mental conflict. Maybe for some of you, you're not even interested in love. You're just like, I, don't, I, I couldn't care less. Like, I just want to focus on my success and my future, uh, on my home, my family. Rebalancing yourself, trying to find peace in your living situation. And then boom, it just kind of like happens. It's coming in. Let's see what is going on around you. What are the messages around Aquarius? It's all about you finding inner peace, inner sanctuary, tranquility, with patience. There's, there's a lot that you are going to ch uh, change in your life. The Two of Swords, it's back again. Wow, the Three of Swords. The Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, someone, hmm, there is someone in your surrounding that is trying to run away, run the other direction because they've been hurt. This person feels hurt by you, I'm not going to lie. Something didn't pan out the way that they wanted to pan out. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This could be in regards to love or maybe it's like a friendship. This is someone that was quite ignorant um, in a sense that they weren't really capable of seeing things from your perspective. They were blocked in their mind. They were a little bit confused. Maybe they were um, going towards the wrong path. Like if, I, I keep on sensing like this dark path that they chose and this dark path could have or it will be ending in some type of heartbreak for them. It's like you warned them, you told them not to do it, and they did it anyway. So it could be about a friend or a family member or whatsoever. But they were just very insisting in not trying to see the other side or the other argument that you had. And they kind of like ignored it, ignored the red flags, ignored the... And it could also be like what I'm picking up on is that you warned a friend about a lover and you were like, that person is not good or whatever. And they didn't really listen to that. And they were just like, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to go for it. And then 
you know, they're going to get their karma for that or they're going to realize that they were really blocked in receiving the right information. And you can't do anything about it because it's their life path, right? Like they need to live this, they need to go through this heartbreak and they need to understand that if someone comes in and out of their life and they're just being playful, this knight of wands here, or just want to have like a good night or whatever, it's not going to be that fulfilling. Like maybe they get what they want for a short period of time, but for the, for the longevity and the stability, they're not going to get what they want. So yeah, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yo, this person, Ooh, I don't know who this is around you, but <laughs> they're going to be definitely betrayed. Like, and, and, and you saw this coming. That's all I can feel about this energy. You were just like, don't trust this person. Don't do it. And they kind of like slammed the door on you and went for it anyway. And then, yeah, a lot of deception here. So let's see what is going on for your career then. Let's see what is all going on there. Aquarius career. Nice, actually really nice i was like holding my heart when i saw like the judgment with the devil i was like okay what's going to happen there but then we have the three of wands with the star your own energy and the king of swords that's also your masculine energy bottom of the deck is the ace of wands so what that actually means is that maybe after some type of separation after you walked away from a very emotionally dissatisfying situation or a person in your life you are clamping yourself to your career it's like you're getting so obsessed or so within these three months you're going to be obsessively working hard one of the uh, traits that the devil also has is like a workaholic and it's something that we don't really talk about that often but one of the meanings of the devil could be definitely saying like okay you work too hard or you want some sort of income or money it's like all you think about and that's why obviously like if you kind of like sell your soul to the devil and you want more and more and more, then it's, it, it could be like a devilish type of energy. Obviously, it, all, it has to do with materialism. But bottom line could be talking about you being obsessed with your work, obsessively <clears throat> trying to gain something or get your victory, your recognition, uh, re your rewards, because I feel like your way of obsessively controlling everything at work it can be a bad thing sometimes obviously because it can be talking about perfectionism and too much perfectionism can kind of like kill our soul as well right like we all know that but in this in this case it's going to be having a wonderful outcome it's like you work so hard for it you know, like you created something you put in all your efforts and energy in it and you're receiving something that you deserve it's like your birthright it's the star so it's talking about like stardom all right like recognition and um you know image restore could also be the case like something that you obsessively work hard on and it's like everything else you leave it behind the judgment is like okay this is a new dawn this is a new era no matter what you've gone through at work or on your in your career or when, if you are having like a, your own company, you're leaving everything behind, all the failures behind, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to be just focusing on my goal, what I need to create, and nothing else matters. And then we have the King of Swords. You're going to be ahead of your game. The King of Swords is well-known, or not, not well-known, like very well-experienced, very analytic, very straightforward, honest, authentic, clear communicator and it feels like you're going to be communicating to a lot of people there's also a healing en uh, element so some of you may be becoming healers but more on like a you know with the king of swords is like 
not an emotional healer, but more like an advisor or something in that realm. So yeah, with that, a lot of new opportunities and creative new beginnings are going to come your way. So I really love this. So yeah. So yeah, the devil is not always bad, especially in this setup with these energies. It just feels like it's the best thing to do to really clamp on your 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 career, your work, your tasks and be very controlling with that, you know, controlling yourself as well. So in love, we have the king, uh, king of cups, the queen of cups. Where's the king of cups? Nice. Page of cups, very positive energies. The chariot. The nine of wands. And the ace of swords. Bottom of the deck is the tower with the emperor. Tell me something about the other person. Or if there is another person here involved, I believe so. Yes, there we go, the King of Cups. What did I say? Where is the King of Cups, right? And there it is. I'm just like, I called it in for you. There you go, Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So twice the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So that is so positive. Oh my God, I'm just getting chills. And you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I recorded your reading yesterday and technology, six of the readings just vanished. So I do remember that you had a super positive reading. So I am so, so glad that you have the same uplifting, positive message coming through. And that's just another confirmation because this is day two of this, uh, of this reading and it's still the same energy. So... Again, I feel like the King and the Queen of Cups, there is most definitely someone here that you feel very connected to emotionally, uh, mentally and spiritually. There is, a, there is a lot of love between the both of you. But I do feel like maybe because you've been through a lot of experience in your life or you've just gotten out of a situation, you, you know your word also emotionally. You want to be understood. You want to be taken care of. It's like you want to be in your feminine energy because I know that Aquarian energy can be sometimes also very masculine. I'm Sagittarius. We're, we're kind of like a masculine type of energy, but you are stepping into that feminine energy where you want to receive and you want to be kind of like taken care of. And that is also something that you need to learn. It might not be that easy for you, right? Like it's not that easy for you to be in a queen of cups type of energy because you want to be like strict and, you know, just straightforward. And this is how it's going to be like, uh, be a little bit in control so in the relationship. But now you're learning to be more empathic, more emotional, more uh, laid back and patience, right? The queen of cups is representing all patience when it comes to love, compassion and I feel like with this page of cups right next to it, you're not going to settle for less. You're going to give people a chance, but you want them to prove themselves because you see yourself on a higher pedestal right now. Like this is the queen of cups looking at the page of cups like, noob, what are you going to give me? What are you going to offer me? Like seriously, like that's the type of energy, but not in a in an arrogant way, the way that I just said it. But hey, I'm a Sagittarius fire energy, so it's kind of like imprinted <laughs> within our uh, fiery system but yeah you will do it in more like a queen of swords energy like hey i've been through shit so what are you going to offer me like if it ain't good then just keep it to yourself kind of energy and i feel like whomever this person is they're going to be very persistent they're going to be very very much like fighting for this connection. And I do get the sense that you will be a little bit protective. You're going to have a little bit of your walls up. Nine of wands is kind of like, I'm not going to allow anyone to break my heart. So that means that you're not going to be that easily giving your heart away or your emotions away. Even though the queen of cups is saying like, you're kind of like open when it comes to your emotions. But the nine of wands is showing me that you're you're a little bit more preserved. Like if they want to know how you feel, 
they'll come and ask, right? Like, but you're not going to put it out there in like a four page letter uh, text message and like, this is how I feel. Like, no, 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 no. We don't do that in 2023. So it's all going to be, again, with the Ace of Swords, I was just describing that energy, like straightforward, um, open, honest, very, uh, I'm hearing like creative thinking, solution oriented, and it is going to bring you a lot of victory. And what I'm also seeing here, Eight of Cups, King of Swords to the Ace of Swords, in your last type of energies, is like you walked away, you... Uh, I, hmm, okay, wait a minute, I just got like a blackout right there. <laughs> I'm hearing you made up your mind in regards to a past situation, you eclipsed something out of your life, you... You woke up, this King of Swords uh, tells me that you woke up to something, some type of truth. And this truth is going to be confirmed, all right? That's also what I'm picking up on. The, the truth that you have been receiving, the moment you walked away, is going to be confirmed to you. So that could be a very significant, special message that you will probably understand like within, um, within a month or two or whatever. But yeah, the King of Cups is definitely on the outskirt. Um, perhaps this is someone that has been waiting for you to step out of a relationship and they will be coming back around. But yeah, this person does have a lot of feelings for you and they're ready to kind of like commit to this relationship. Listen to the whispers, you are being guided. So also in love, when I see the, excuse me, when I see the chariot, it is definitely talking about guidance. This is the sp a spiritual path. That's what the chariot represents. It represents signs, synchronicities, and your spirit guides really guiding you in the right direction. And anything that gets blocked on your path is for your highest good. Because if you believe to be a spiritual person and you you know that you have divine guidance around you, then obviously if you get like a redirection from spirit, it's from your for your highest good so the more that you pay attention to signs and synchronicities your dreams and any any events that keep on reoccurring or telepathic messages uh, th these are all like signs that you are being guided and the more that you align yourself with that energy the more that you will feel confirmed on your path and you will get more confirmations like that's just the way that spirit works time to wake up epiphany we do have the judgment there. I, I wonder if that is talking about your work life. For some of you, you may have been sleeping a little bit on your, uh, on your work, right? Like maybe you feel like you were a bit lazy or you were just like in another state or just enjoying your life and just less focusing on your career goals. And spirit could be saying like, okay, it's time to wake up and get obsessively working on your goals and manifestations. And that could be something that you will be doing. And maybe in the last couple of months, you've been really focusing on self-love, taking care of yourself health-wise, because if you're mentally not um, healthy or you're physically just not healthy, then you don't have like the focus on work. And now spirit is coming through with that judgment, like, okay, it's time to get obsessively working hard again in order to gain all the things that you wanted. The divine law. Yeah, see self-sabotage and health. That's exactly what we were talking about. So you could have found yourself in this um, energy where you were just not treating yourself well, uh, health-wise or eating. Um, maybe you had like you needed to do a diet or get more supplements, vitamins or whatsoever. But there is definitely some type of energy where you were self-sabotaging yourself and it was affecting your health. The divine law, things are going in your favor. So this feels like it's connected to love. Like everything happens for a reason, right? And things are going to be rebalanced. Some type of relationship harmony is coming your way. 
Also, someone that treated you bad is going to be treating you much better than you thought they would because because yeah, I don't know why, but that's what I'm picking up. You might be receiving some type of apology as well. Knight of the Page of Cups and a Divine Law could definitely indicate that there is some type of apology coming your way. Yeah, this this person, whomever this King of Cups is, that you feel like is going to be your partner. There, there's going to be a very clear communication here. We got the Ace of Swords here with the Song of the Siren. So this is someone that is going to be finally speaking up about how they truly feel, open up an authentic conversation with you. And things are going to change because they're going to be... How do I say that? Like, they're going to talk out of integrity. So it's going to be a very truthful and open and honest conversation here. Wow, the yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation. So this King of Cups could have been longing for you for a very long time. They feel like that you both separated, um, maybe prematurely, before you both really um, got into a real commitment. And they're definitely longing for some type of reconciliation with you. It could also be talking about this other past person that you left and some of you may be longing for them or they are still longing for you as well. It could be that there are two different energies here that I'm picking up on. Atlantis, rapid development, excellence and success. So a lot of things are going to be going in your favor, like we said, but also they're going to be developing really fast for you. So that means that if you found yourself single for a long time, you will all of a sudden find yourself in a relationship or a true commitment. And it's going to be surprising you. It's, it's going to be like, whoa, how did this escalate this this fast? So yeah, if, if, the, if, the, if the love is real here and you both are able to overcome the shadows, as you can see here, then I even have like the harmony card there. Then it's it's going to happen really fast, okay? Like you're going to fall in love fast, commit fast, or live together, engagement, things are going to happen really fast for you. So, glad to have such a good positive reading. Like, thank you for that as well, Aquarius. And I'm like, oh my God, finally, because your readings have definitely not been easy at all. And yeah, if this resonates, we will dive into it a little bit deeper in the extended. So follow the link in the description box or simply at theillustilluminator.com. Uh, also for other readings, personal readings, extended readings, oils, healing oils, crystals, jewelry, whatever the case, all only on the website. Nothing else is me. Okay, so thank you. So, ciao.